Hello, everybody. It is Santa Claus. I'm back. Some more Dragon Quest Nine. So let me get my camera repropped here. There we go. So in the last episode, we made it through the hexagon and defeated the hexagoon, and uh, um, we rescued Patty too. And she headed back to Stormway and asked Aaron to come back to Stormway with her, which is a nearby city or town or whatever. And what's this ghost doing in front of Aaron's house? <coughs> Okay, yeah, so he's wondering how, uh, we can see him. So, he, apparently he's Edwin. Wow. What a quinky dink. And here comes that pink dot from before. Ow. Watch where you're flying. Mm. So they're arguing about what I am. When she introduces herself as Stella. So she says, if, um, she's going to believe that we're really a Celestrian. Then we have to send Edwin back up to the sky. You know, send him back home. By the way, Stella is going to be your companion for the rest of the game. So... Now it says the battle record screen is now accessible from the main menu. Now, um, actually, there's an easier way to do this. It, you can just press select. And it brings up this crappy menu. So, enough about how crappy Stella is. Go ahead and talk to Mr. Old Man Edwin. So, he says, I wonder if the thing stopping him from going up to the clouds is the thing he buried in the bush behind the inn. Let's go check it out. Maybe, you know, we can. You know, actually get moving in this game because so far, I'll admit it, it's been extremely boring. It's the only thing I dislike about this game, so boring in the beginning of the game. So, a blue exclamation point shows up above your head, and you can dig up an any trophy. Okay, so let's go give, uh, talk to Edwin about it. Okay, so let's go give it to Aaron, because apparently, you know, I mean, she should technically inherit it, since Edmund's dead now. So let's go talk to her. So she, she asks what we got here, so I'll give her the trophy. So, Mr. Grandpa Man comes along to shed some light on the situation why Edwin came to Angel Falls instead of, um, staying in Stormway. So, apparently, Aaron was sick, and, um, Edwin didn't want Aaron to die like Aaron's mom did, so he brought her to Angel Falls, and apparently, um, Angel, Wa Angel Falls water is so pure it can cure illnesses, so he brought her here, and now Aaron's nice and strong, sort of. So, Erin changes her mind. She's going to be hidden to Stormway now. So she magically puts the any in her apron and walks away. How quaint. So come in here. Edwin is standing there. And Edwin starts glowing and he goes poofy poof poof and he goes bye bye. But where's the benevolence?
Oops, sorry. So apparently the wind slide is not cleared. It's time for Aaron to head off for Stormway. So Mr. Granddad's gonna take care of the building. And Aaron asks Ivor to take care of the inn. So they got a little in neat running competition on their hands. Uh oh, 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 looks like Aaron is a little too much. I'll let you find in the text for yourself what that means. <laughs> so now, our next objective is going to be to head to uh, the Starflight Express, as Stella points out right now. So, let's go on over. If you remember correctly, I think the place right just in front of the lane slide, so I'll meet you guys there. And, as if by magic, we're almost there. Nah. Camera flipped to fall over. Yeah. So, let's go. So this area is called the Mountain Pass. Sorry about that. So, we make it to the star flight, and we magically back up a couple steps, and Stella unlocks the door for us. How nice of her. My camera ha can't handle this much brightness. So this is the Starflight Express. Kind of dreary. Ugh. Not interested, Stella. Your interior designs are pieces of crap. As a matter of fact, the rhinestones with gold around them are completely three seconds ago. I think that emeralds with diamonds around them is better. So apparently, Stella doesn't really care about my fashion design. She only cares about hers, and she also can't get the um, stuff on Express to get going. Uh, no, it's not. No, you didn't. So, um, Stella decides what we're going to do, be doing for us, and even, even though you have to uh, obey what she says, you know, where we go, um, which really sucks in my opinion, uh, but, you know, she's sort of like that, even though she's fully aware you could slit her throat at any moment, so, enough about slitting Stella's throat, which I would love to do, just head on this way, just store away. So this area is called Western Stormway, because apparently it's on the western side of Stormway's kingdom. Wow, pretty big area you got here. It's nice. Enough about that. Head along the path. See what's in store. If you look on the map, there's a little castle. It's a little castle town from uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Maybe this is Stormway. Yep, it is. Well... We're going to have to wrap up this episode here in about a minute, once this little cutscene here is over. So, you walk forward and look to your left, and see Patty and Aaron standing in front of the inn. Wow, it's a big inn. Yeah. So, they go in. Stella goes in. That means we should go. Just got Stella went in there. But, you'll have to see what's in store in the next episode. Also, I haven't been mentioning this very often, but, um, be sure to go ahead and click that magical subscribe button or like button if you like the video. Comment on any questions you have about this game or the layout of the current areas, because, um, I'll inform you to the best of my knowledge. 
and as always, see you guys later.